in new york it's been raining and chilly and that kind of weather just calls for soup you know so today we're gonna make una sopa de pollo a chicken and rice soup let me show you how i do it in this bowl i have four chicken thighs and four chicken breasts that i'm just gonna season up i still have some of this goya mojo that i used for my pernil the other day i'm gonna pour some of that on there adobo oregano paprika onion powder garlic powder some black pepper and a packet of sazon i'm gonna give those a few minutes to marinate just while i chop up my veggies i put some avocado oil down in my olla my chicken thighs are bone in chicken thighs i just took the skin off and trimmed some of the fat because I want the bone to give the flavor to that soup, you know? You could do this with all chicken thighs. You could do it with chicken thighs and chicken legs. I personally just really like chicken breasts. I just do boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I didn't throw out what was left in that bowl. I added a little bit of water to it and we're gonna pour that in in a little bit. I have my stove on nice and high now so that they can start to get a little bit of color. Okay, so my pieces of chicken got some color on them. I'm removing them now. I'm gonna add some onions and a green and a red bell pepper. A little bit of salt and a little pepper have here a medium sized carrot that I chopped up. I'm going to put that in there now because I like my carrots to basically dissolve into the soup. It's a good way to sneak a little extra veggie in there without your kids knowing, okay? Shh. I won't tell them if you don't. <laughs> some sofrito. I'm going to put about two big spoonfuls in there. And some garlic paste. A nice spoonful. I'm going to add a can of tomato sauce. I just filled that can up with water and I'm going to pour that in there. Now I'm going to start to put my chicken back in. This chicken is not fully cooked though, okay? All of that liquid that's in there, we're going to pour that in there too. I was actually able to put eight cups of water in here. I was a little skeptical about the capacity of this olla when I saw how much chicken was in there, but she put in that work today. I'm going to put in some chicken bouillon, about that much, for now. You want to take it easy with the salty ingredients in the beginning. Always remember that. You can taste as you go once the chicken is all the way cooked through. You can always add salt, but you can't take it away. Garlic powder, paprika, onion powder, and the last of my oregano. I'm going to let this cook, let the chicken cook all the way through, and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. At this point, our chicken should be all the way cooked through. I have some potatoes in here. I have them soaking in some cold water, just waiting for their turn to go in. <laughs> I have a few aceitunas here. I'm only going to put a few and a little bit of the juices. I am not an olive person, but I say this all the time. They make a difference. I also have some sliced pimientos here. I'm going to put a little spoonful of that in there too. Okay, I'm going to cover this. I'm going to give those potatoes about 10 minutes. My soup has reduced down beautifully. My chicken is fully cooked. It's been cooking all together for about 40 to 45 minutes. This part right here is very forgiving. You can let this go as long as you need to. You just want to make sure that you hold off on these next two ingredients. Your rice and your calabaza. I'm using medium grain rice. You could use long grain rice. From what I've heard is that it expands more, so you have to make sure that you have more liquid. I'm not sure how true that is, but when I looked it up, that's what it said. So I'm going to go with that. I've only ever used medium grain rice when I make asopao. So I have a cup here, and I have some calabaza here. I'm only going to put half of this, though, because this is a lot. Then I'll just freeze the rest, and I have calabaza anytime I want it. I also have here a little bit of frecao and cilantro that I have to use up, so I'm going to put that right over, bump my heat up to medium, and let it go. You have to smell my house right now. <laughs> Let's serve this up. And that only took like 10 minutes. And yes, I made some tostones to go with it. I mean, you have to. I didn't have avocado, so we needed something. <laughs> and I had to hold it with a paper towel because I was burning my hands. <laughs> little chicken, little rice. What's up? Now let me blow it so I don't tear my mouth up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, we need to taste it with some tostones. Look at how delicious that looks. Ooh. Mm hmm I'm so happy I made the tostones. Ooh. Mm. This comforted my soul on this rainy, chilly day.